filled with prophecy, the Eucharistic experiences contains the mystical visions and messages of Ida Pirdeman, received during Holy Mass, from 1970 to 1984. They are a continuation of the Amsterdam apparitions, the messages of the Lady of All Nations. Approved by commission and declared to be of supernatural origin on the 31st of May, 2002, 15th of August, 1970. During Holy Mass, in the private chapel of the Secretariat of the Lady of All Nations, at Diepenbrockstraat, in Amsterdam, where the painting of the Lady of All Nations had been temporarily placed, on June 26, 1970, I had the following experience. At my Holy Communion, I suddenly saw the light of the Lady. Then, there appeared on either side of that light, a much more grandiose, enormous heavenly light, which spread slowly over the light of the Lady. In fact, it looked as if the light of the Lady was being overshadowed. Now, I saw a light coming down from an unfathomable height and at a certain level, it expanded fanwise, over the other light. It was a very different light. It is difficult to explain, but to me it seemed, to be of quite another substance, still more spiritualized, I would like to call it. I had never seen that sort of light before. Watching it, I heard a voice, which I had never heard before, saying, from here, the stream will begin its course. These words being spoken, I saw a powerful, broad stream of crystal clear water, running past at a terrific speed. It looked to me as if stars were being swept along in that water, stars, that radiated life sparks to every direction. And I also thought I saw gold in that running water. It was a wonderful and thrilling spectacle. And, above that stream I saw the threefold light radiating all over it. This went on for quite a while, until it faded away and I said inwardly, My Lord, I thank you for being allowed to witness this. As a matter of fact, I always said this after hearing or seeing things like visions, 28th of February, 1971. At the consecration, in the chapel on Diepenbrock Street, I saw the sacred host, take on a dazzling white appearance, just at the elevation. The sacred host grew whiter and whiter, so as to baffle all comparison. All I can say is that, it looked like a white fire in the hands of the priest, 14th of March, 1971. Sunday of the Silent Procession, in Amsterdam. In the chapel on Diepenbrock Street, during the consecration at the elevation, I saw the sacred host become white fire. It was so beautiful, that words to describe it just fail me. At the elevation of the chalice, this too, took on the appearance of a blazing fire before my eyes. The priest stood enveloped in the light. I felt like being in a heavenly condition, 25th of March, 1971. During Holy Mass in the chapel on Diepenbrock Street, I saw a heavenly vision. First the light appeared during the consecration. At the elevation, I saw the sacred host grow ever wider and brighter, as if it was going to be white fire. The sacred host radiated in all directions. At the elevation of the chalice, I saw a cross, rising from it. Thick drops of blood trickled down from the cross and fell into the chalice. Then, all at once, I saw the cross ablaze with beautiful light. It emitted rays to all sides and the chalice became so beautiful that it appeared to be more precious than ordinary gold. I saw the priest standing in the light. Until that moment, I saw priest, altar, chalice, with cross and the sacred host, still in that dazzling light. Then heaven opened before my eyes. I saw a heavenly vision, and ceased to see my normal environment. It was an unfathomable, awe-inspiring depth, into which I looked. The first light was still there. But now I saw a second light, piercing it, or, should I say, enveloping it. I saw the chalice standing in that depth, with above it, the flaming cross surmounted by the sacred host, shining and beaming. It was all light of two different shades. Suddenly, I saw a broad glittering bundle of rays appearing all over this, 
and slanting downwards on both sides of the other two lights. This was the third light. I could quite clearly distinguish the different shades of the lights. Then a magnificent, radiating white dove appeared, hovering at the top of that last bundle of rays. I felt a profound heavenly impression during this vision. It was a moving sight, that dazzling white dove, emitting its rays over the chalice, the cross, and the sacred host, below. Then, that ensemble, the chalice, the cross, and the sacred host, was encircled by stars. I counted twelve of them. One of them was larger and more brilliant than the others. And I heard a voice say, I am with you. I had never before heard that voice. Then there appeared, in that vast depth, representatives of all the nations and tribes of the world. They stood on either side of that vision and looked up to that scene. Now I noticed, still more people, who arrived at a fast pace, not to miss the proceedings. Some actually sprinted. I said to myself, they seem to be people who have lost their way, and now they are, retracing their steps. And over all this, I saw emerging a large beautiful crown. It was not a crown made of gold or diamonds, but even so, it was so beautiful that I cannot describe the impression it made on me. The whole experience touched me so strongly, and in such a heavenly state of mind, that I have no words to express it. But, I thank the Lord inwardly, for allowing me to contemplate all this. The whole experience lasted from the consecration, until long after my Holy Communion, which I received in profound meditation. By the time the chalice, and the sacred host faded away, and after a while, also the dove, the crown and the stars vanished. Only then, the first light disappeared, followed by the second and the third light. When the priest began reciting the psalm, The Lord is my shepherd, I was again able to join in, 31st of May, 1971. During Holy Mass, in the chapel on Diepenbrock Street, I saw a heavenly vision. It is very difficult to describe, because it was so heavenly. At the offertory, I saw the light coming over the altar and the two priests, concelebrating. They were enveloped by the light. This grew stronger and stronger and I could no longer see the altar nor the priests. It was one ocean of light. Then, suddenly, it looked to me as if heaven burst open above me. I beheld an unfathomable, beautiful depth, full of majesty and light. And I saw, a large and superb chalice surmounted by a brilliant cross. On its top appeared a very large sacred host, radiating light. It looked like a white fire and it was almost impossible to watch it. I was allowed to behold this scene for quite a long time. Then, I discerned, coming up from the right, out of that immeasurable depth, a floating white figure, of what looked like a young man. I asked myself, who is he? I heard inwardly. He is John. Then I noticed that the young man carried the painting of the Lady of All Nations, as known in our chapel in his hands, and he placed it under that chalice, cross, and sacred host. And now I saw that the same figure was holding an enormous radiant crown in his hands, and he placed it, on top of the picture. After that, the figure disappeared into the background. Then I saw great, brilliant stars emerging vertically round the whole vision. They were really splendid and I counted twelve of them. Above each star, appeared a man's head. I thought they had faces of bygone ages. I counted twelve of them. I asked myself, who are these? And I heard inwardly. They are the twelve tribes. Then, again, above these heads appeared other men's heads, and I counted twelve of them. Again I asked inwardly, who are these? I heard. They are the twelve apostles. And again, above these heads, appeared, twelve more men's heads, and I noticed they were bishops, because of their murders. In their midst, I saw the head of a pope wearing a tiara. Then, below this vision, coming from the right, three animals and a winged figure appeared. They took their place below the picture, and the whole group. I saw a lion. It looked up to that group, knelt down and bowed its head. 
I saw an eagle. It spread its wings to full width, looked up, and bowed its head deeply, whilst fluttering its wings. Then I saw a bull. It also looked up, tried to kneel, and made a low bow. Then the radiant figure came nearer. I saw his large wings, for he spread them very widely. He knelt and bowed down deeply. Now I saw, an enormous beast, with a monstrous head, crawling up from the left. I took it to be an ugly snake of enormous size. It twisted and turned its way into the direction of that group, looked up, and it was as if a shock went through its body, and, bang! Quickly, the beast wound and twisted itself into the ground. I felt a fright at the sight of it. Then people came running up from the four quarters of heaven. They belonged to various races, and rallied round the whole group. They all looked up, knelt and bowed devoutly, before that heavenly, wonderful spectacle. Then I saw that a white dove came flying along, above that group. It stayed there, hovering on its outspread wings. This was followed, by a sound in my ears, and I felt a violent wind or storm, breaking over the whole party, including myself. This wind, came from the four quarters of heaven. It was like blowing, with a tremendous force, from west to east, and from north to south. Next, I saw the figure named John again. He moved his hand around the painting, as if he were drawing a design. I heard inwardly, Chapel. Then I saw, all over the whole scene, the three domes of the church, which the lady had shown me before. But, this seemed to me to refer to the future. Then I heard a call, in an unknown foreign language. I can neither give the gist of it, nor pronounce it. But I understood inwardly. Let it be so. Then, everything faded away. First the vision, then the light. After having experienced all this, I saw the priests and the altar again. I heard that Holy Mass was about to end, and the priest was saying the psalm, The Lord is my shepherd. And I was again able to join in. I noticed, that the sacred host was still unconsumed on my tongue. Only then, I consumed it, 15th of August, 1971. During Holy Mass, in the chapel on Diepenbrock Street, I saw at the elevation, that the sacred host was growing amazingly white, and a light was shining through it. The same light was radiating over the hands of the priest. At Holy Communion, on receiving our Lord, I heard, Do not be afraid. Be comforted. I am with you all. In the afternoon, saying the rosary, I had a strong feeling that the Lady was with us. I saw the light radiating, 8th of December, 1971. When receiving Holy Communion, I suddenly saw an open space in a heavenly garden, beaming with light. It is not possible to express in human words the beauty of that garden and that light. That light was heavenly and looked like dazzling white fire. In the center of that open space, I saw a grandiose fountain, the height and the distance attained by its jets of water, were enormous. The longer I watched them, the more brilliant they became. In the glare of that light, they seemed to force one large interplay of the most splendid crystals. It was one great sparkling splendor. Once again, it cannot be expressed in words. After a while, I heard a voice from the far background. The struggle is over. And the fountain began to sparkle still more beautifully and majestically. The spectacle continued until the priest began to say the prayers, after Holy Communion. Then everything faded out of view, and I saw the altar and the priest again, 2nd of February, 1972. During the elevation of the sacred host at the consecration, I saw a magnificent heavenly light proceeding from the sacred host. The light spread over the hands of the priest and gradually over the altar, the priest, and the whole environment. It impressed me profoundly. The light stayed until the end of Holy Mass. In the afternoon, while saying the rosary, I saw a tremendous glitter of light, settling over the painting of the Lady. It was as if the image radiated splendidly, 11th of February, 1972. When the priests were distributing Holy Communion, 
I saw the light coming over them and the altar. On receiving Holy Communion myself, I saw again the vision of that heavenly garden, with a fountain in the center of a large plain. Below this garden, there was a large empty space and, below that space again, the globe. So I saw the ensemble in three scenes, one below the other. The globe, was entirely wrapped in darkness. Suddenly, I saw the globe splitting up into two, almost flat parts. Then a more powerful light came from the sky, all over this splitting world. The fountain spouted its crystal jets high up into the sky, and I saw them come down with violent force to that split up world, which absorbed them entirely. It was all glare of light on that earth, and I saw the crystals sinking deep into the soil. Then a big and beautiful rose and bud, silvery and heavenly, sprouted out from that split up world. This bud developed slowly upwards, and stopped growing in the empty space, and was standing now, between the heavenly garden and earth. The bud opened, leaf after leaf and then that heavenly rose stood forth in all its glory. It is impossible to explain how heavenly and glorious this vision was. Now everything faded away. I had the sacred host still unconsumed on my tongue. Holy Mass was just over, 25th of March, 1972. At Holy Communion, I saw the light coming over the altar. On receiving our Lord, I heard inwardly. Watch well, and understand the meaning of what follows. I saw the globe rotating in front of me. Then, suddenly, it split into two parts. This gave me an oppressive feeling, so bad, that I had to gasp for breath several times. Then I heard, It will be a life and death struggle, but the spirit, will triumph at the end. And I saw people coming one by one, out of that split up globe, members of various races and tribes. Each of them carried a flag in his hand, thus representing all countries and nations. More and more of them stepped out of that world. In the end, they form one long row, of thousands of people, standing two by two. All at once, I noticed a young man dressed in white. He carried the painting of the lady high above his head, and called out to all people. Follow me. Then that row of people began to follow behind the painting. And now I saw that the painting was standing in a chapel. All these nations, one by one, carried their flags into that place. They all gathered round the painting of the lady. Then, all at once, I found myself standing outside the chapel and I saw high up in the far distance, the domes of the church that is to come. I saw heaven bursting open, and I heard the most beautiful heavenly music. And one great pageant of splendor showed up before my eyes, in an endless heavenly vista. I saw a magnificent rose in bloom, from which, the glorified lady slowly emerged. She wore an indescribably, brilliant crown. But this time, she was also a more spiritualized person. And I heard, Now you see her, not as she used to appear, but like she's in the kingdom. Her mission on earth has come to an end, now. The Holy Spirit will rule. The Lord shows you this vision, in order that you may proclaim this message to all people. And then I saw that this young man in white, bowed low, before her throne. It was as if some proclamation, were called throughout the heavenly space, in an unknown language. I wondered what it meant. I heard in reply. This is a heavenly reply. And, I saw again that chapel, and that row of people with their flags, marching from the chapel to the church to come and I heard inwardly. That will be for later on. Now, the light faded away and Holy Mass was at an end, 31st of May, 1972. On receiving Holy Communion, in that chapel on Deep in Brock Street, I saw a vision. It was as if heaven burst open before my eyes. Again, I saw the glorified Crown Lady in this heavenly vision, but this time in the far distance. Then heaven closed again. Thereupon, heaven opened anew, and I saw two groups of spirits facing each other. One of those spirits had a kind of sword in his hand. And I watched those two groups. Suddenly, the opposing group was mown down. 
This seemed to me, a scene of bygone ages, at least, I understood it inwardly. Now, all of a sudden, I saw the same happening on earth, but this time, two groups of human beings stood facing each other. One group was mown down by the opposing group. Then came a light, so fierce that I had to cover my eyes with my hand. There were three rays, one in the middle, one on the right hand, and one on the left, pointing downwards to the earth, which was lit up completely. Next, I saw a very beautiful bright road, right up in front of me, with a sort of slope, which looked like a lawn at its edge. At the end of that road, was a gate with a big gold-colored door. A large flock of sheep came up from the left and from the right. And from that light, I heard a voice saying, I am the spirit of truth and wisdom. I am the water that gives life. I am the light that wants to enlighten and fertilize all of you, unto the true doctrine and true faith. The sheep will be separated from the goats. Then I saw, the sheep pattering, in single file, along that beautiful road, and making for the gate. Every now and then, the door of that gate opened and a small batch of sheep entered. This went on until all sheep were inside. And, looking down upon that road, I saw the goats slipping off that slope. But I could not see where they ended. Then I noticed quite another stretch of farmland. I saw corn stalks rising from the soil. It became on large cornfield, and the light shone over it. All those corn stalks, bowed low before that light. Then I saw in front of me, a big ring which was broken into two halves. It looked as if they were held up on either side and then joined to each other. But the upper part of the ring remained enclosed. Then I saw an invisible hand closing the gap. The result was a magnificent, gold, round ring. Next I was shown another vision. A sacrificial altar was placed before me. It was not a common altar, but an altar built up out of unhewn stones. And I counted twelve stones. In the middle, was an opening from which smoke arose and coiled up. Then it changed into an altar as it is familiar to us, and now in common use. A voice, that I had heard before, said, Your doctrine is good. Why do you revile it? Go back you priests, to your true doctrine. I, the spirit of truth and wisdom, will assist you. And, you. And this sounded as if spoken to others. Remain faithful. I shall give you the directives. Then, the light faded away and the vision was at an end. Holy Mass was already over. 8th of September, 1972. During Holy Communion, in the chapel on Diepenbrock Street, I saw the light coming over the altar. On receiving our Lord, I heard, Priests and lay people, go on fighting for her, who gave birth to me. The time is now. The last word was said with special emphasis. I said inwardly, My Lord, may your will, be done, 8th of December, 1972. At the offertory, during Holy Mass, in the chapel on Diepenbrock Street, the light came over the whole altar and the priests. It was a magnificent brilliant light, that remained stationary. On receiving Holy Communion, I had a heavenly vision. I saw a vast, empty earthly plain before me. Then, suddenly, I saw that the plain was covered with trees and leaf, as if it were summer. Then I saw all those leaves, fall off, so that soon all the trees were bare, as if it were winter. Then I saw and heard that the branches were being broken off, one by one, by an invisible hand. I did hear the noise of it, which was so piercing and ghastly, that an awful distress and pain seized me at every crack. The whole vision saddened me profoundly. Now I saw the bare trunks. Suddenly, these two crashed down to the ground with a thundering noise. As I was watching the ravage of dead branches and trunks, great sadness and pain came over me. Then I saw a beam of light, approaching in the air above the plain. In that light, a hand appeared, with a finger raised in a warning, and I heard, resounding through the sky. Woe to you, who made this havoc. Whilst these words were spoken, I saw the hand and finger pointing downwards to those branches and trunks. 
I watched that scene again, and was again seized by terrible anguish. Then I saw the ground bursting open. All branches and trunks disappeared into the rift, and the ground closed over it. And there was a silence round about me. After that, I saw again a plane in front of me. But there was a difference. This time it affected me, as if I were gazing at a heavenly plane. A bundle of rays descended on it from high. It was as if heaven opened and I heard. And you, my apostles, who are still serving the altar, do not be discouraged. Do not fear. Continue faithfully along the same lines. Believe in me, and, in transubstantiation, the Lord is with you. Gather the remnants and assemble my flock. I am with you. Then I heard. Watch, well. And I surveyed anew, that heavenly plain. Suddenly, a very thin twig shot up from the soil, like an arrow of fire. Watching that little twig, I saw it growing thicker and taller, and it became a sturdy stem. Then I saw, that stem putting forth branch after branch, alternately from the right and the left side, until I saw a magnificent golden tree standing in front of me. Then buds, sprang from the top of every branch. At first closed, then they suddenly burst open. Now, I saw a pure golden tree in bloom. I cannot describe how grand that tree was. Again I heard the voice from heaven. Do not be afraid. The Lord is with you. But, first, the storm will come. Then the vision faded away. Holy Mass was over. And the sacred host was still unconsumed on my tongue. I said inwardly. Lord, I don't understand anything of these visions. But I thank you in all humility, for what I have seen. Then the light disappeared, 2nd of February, 1973. During Holy Mass, in the chapel on Diepenbrock Street, before the beginning of the consecration, I saw a magnificent light, coming from the painting of the Lady. The light spread over the whole altar and the priest. During the consecration, at the elevation of the Sacred Host, I saw the Host radiating, on all sides. The chalice, was likewise encircled by light. At the elevation, when receiving our Lord, I heard, Be faithful. And again, with more insistence, Be faithful. The light stayed till the end of Holy Mass, 11th of February, 1973. During Holy Mass, in the chapel on Diepenbrock Street, at the consecration, I saw the light coming. Gorgeous light. I was watching the painting, and it was as if the lady stood there in festive attire. When receiving our Lord, I heard, Watch, and listen attentively, to what I let you see and hear. And I saw heaven opening, and I had a magnificent, heavenly vision. Now I understood that the light, came from on high. It shone across an open plain, dazzling, beautiful. In the center of that plain, stood again, that magnificent golden tree with golden leaves and buds, which I had seen before. As I was watching, I saw the buds burst open and become beautiful flowers. Then I saw around the tree, a bare patch of ground, and round about it, crystal clear running water. Suddenly, the flowers fell down one by one, and dropped on that bare patch around the tree. Then it was as if that round, about, running water grew still more living. It sprayed sparkling water on the flowers on the ground. Above all this, I saw a glorious sun in the sky. It was not an ordinary sun, but a heavenly sun. Now twelve stars appeared, and they formed an arc around the sun, and over all this, I saw a rainbow of enormous size. And I heard the voice saying very clearly, You, my faithful servants, take courage and stand by the truth. I cannot insist too much on this. You will propagate the truth. The hour has almost come. Then I saw a blessing hand, coming forth from heaven, and on the earth below I saw people kneeling and prostrating in reverence. Then I saw an image of a pope, wearing a tiara, and I heard inwardly. It doesn't about turn. Thereupon, four men arrived taking up archwise processions in twos on either side of that image of the Pope. 
Each of them carried in his hand a book engraved with a different symbol. The first had an eagle, another a bull, the next a lion, and the last a winged person. The voice sounded again. You, my faithful servants, do not be afraid, fight for the truth, and bring her back into your midst. Now the twelve stars began, scintillating splendidly. It was such a profound heavenly vision, that I cannot describe it in human words. The light withdrew slowly, and I said inwardly, My Lord, I have placed all my trust in you. I thank you for what I was allowed to see and hear. Holy Mass already was over and the sacred host was still unconsumed on my tongue, 25th of March, 1973. At the consecration I saw the light coming, and immediately after the elevation of the chalice, I had a heavenly vision. From the clouds I saw a hand coming, and a finger pointed to the earth. I heard a voice call. Death and destruction. I saw the earth, and over it hovered death and destruction. On it lay skulls and crossbones, and the earth looked as if a pestilence had passed over it. Then the voice sounded again. Once more I tell you, woe to you, who have made this havoc, and caused this destruction. Now I saw a winding path, with crawling beasts. I thought they were lobsters, but I heard inwardly. Scorpions. The path on which they crawled and twisted, reminded me of a snake's path. Suddenly, I saw those scorpions change into human beings. I took them to be many men. I only saw their backs. A terrific storm broke over them, and I heard the thunderclaps. Again I heard the voice say, Follow me, and undergo what they will forfeit, if they do not return from that path. And it was as if I were uplifted, and I felt like having been transferred, into a profound heavenly condition. It was as if, I were among other people, who, all had come to the kingdom. I cannot describe that situation for it was so profound, so spiritual. I was allowed to stay there quite a while. After that, I came back to my first condition. Meantime, I had received Holy Communion. And I heard the voice say, I am with you. Watch well and listen. And you, understand all this rightly. It was as if these last words were spoken to other people. Now, I saw the Vatican and I heard, the process between the spirit and destruction, is in full progress. Next I saw a triangle with an eye inside, and I heard, And you, my shepherds, where are you? Will you too, revile me? Think of your true duty, and vocation. Reassemble my flocks that are left. Take my lambs into safe keeping, and lead them back to the daily miracle. Only there, peace and rest can be found. Carry me again through the streets and across the squares. Remain faithful and the Spirit will help you. He will feed you with the heavenly manna, and let you drink from the water of the spring. A great joy came over me, and it was as if everything beamed with light. I saw a large cornfield, and the sheaves stood bundled there. A rainbow formed over it, whilst it was raining. While I stood watching, I saw men, carrying away the bundled corn sheaves, there were also small groups of sheep and lambs about, with their shepherd. All this was taken to a big church. Suddenly, they turned into people of different races. Then in a flash, I saw a chapel and the church I had already seen before, and I heard, The spouse of the Lord was not sent to the earth for no purpose. Make her known among the nations. Understand this well. Also the Lord stood in need of his mother in order to attain to life. It is through the mother that life comes. Hence, she must be brought back into your churches and among the nations, and you will witness the revival. Then I saw, a big, golden ring, and in it, appeared a dial plate, with a pointer, which started running and came to a stop on the central number, at the top. In that way, the ring had changed into a clock. Next I saw a Pope. Four books, embossed with animal emblems, were laid in from of him. Thereupon, I was shown a triangle and in it another triangle, a Star of David. And I saw, quite another community of Christians, but this seemed to be for the future. Suddenly, 
I stood in a heavenly plain and in its center, a branch came up from the soil. And on that branch, grew a heavenly golden rose. Watching these proceedings, I saw the light, flaring up and then fading away very slowly. And I noticed that I had the sacred host still unconsumed on my tongue, 31st of May, 1973. At the consecration, I saw an enormous bright light, crossing over the altar and the priest. At the elevation of the sacred host, it began to live. I had an awareness that the Lord was present. I heard, Ye nations, kneel before your Lord, He is here. At the elevation of the chalice, I saw a glorious cross hovering over it, and a sort of letter A, appeared to the left, and a letter O, to the right of it. Then I had a heavenly vision. In front of me, I saw a dragon with several heads, and I counted seven of them, each with its own character. Together they formed one big muzzle, which opened suddenly and vomited something. I saw that it was all vipers they vomited. Lying about between them, were lots of eggs, which they themselves gobbled up. It was a nasty and horrible sight, and I felt a nausea in my heart. I heard. You brood of vipers, woe to you. The world was black and I heard inwardly. The world is going all to pieces, in many ways, and must be saved. After this the whole image was washed away out of sight, like a mass of mud. Then there was a shower, and I noticed that it was raining manna. It dropped on the ground and was easily picked up. After this, a plane came into my view, and in its center I saw a kind of tower. It looked as if someone threw a lasso, but I heard inwardly, cincture around that tower, and pulled it down. And only a heap of rubble was left. While I stood watching, it seemed like years were passing, and again I saw a plane on which this time a new tower was under construction. When it was ready, it was much nicer and higher, and stood beaming in the sunlight. In a flash, a rock stood in front of me and in the soil next to it was a staff with a snake. Water and fire appeared round about it. I heard a clock striking, with very sonorous strokes, and I counted twelve. Next I saw another rock, much higher and more impressive. And from heaven came down a staff with a brass snake. It landed exactly next to the rock. And four books were laid in front of it. I heard. You are my rock. In the same way as the seed sprouts in the soil, you will make the church the community, flower again. And you my shepherds and apostles, are you discouraged and defeated? Maintain your faith in me. Understand well that knowledge does not proceed from man, but from the Holy Spirit, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. He alone gives knowledge and wisdom, for nothing takes its rise from man himself. Stand firm, and let no one mislead you. I have shown you the image of the vipers. Keep it in mind. Rome, keep watching, your enemy lies in wait. And ye peoples, rally and unite in the name of the Lady of all nations. Then I heard, Follow me. And I saw a radiant blue sky with a large white cloud. This opened and I was taken up again into the kingdom, but this time it was much more heavenly than before. I have no words for it, it was just heavenly great. When I saw the Lord, in all his glory, I heard, as you see me, so do you see the Father. The Spirit proceeds from the Father in me. I also saw the crown lady in her heavenly splendor. And I heard heavenly music. Then, I saw a lion, a bull, an angel, and a big eagle, coming in front of this heavenly throne. They bowed low, before that heavenly scene. Now I saw coming, glorified people of various races. They too bowed most reverently before this throne. Once again, it is impossible for me to describe how stirring and heavenly this scene was. After that, I was returned to my first condition. But this grieved me so much that tears poured from my earthly eyes. I heard. Join hands, ye nations. Widen your circle around her. Build here a chapel for the Lady of all nations. This is your commission. And I saw that the painting from the chapel was being carried as in a procession through the streets. 
we arrived in a large square where the majestic church was standing. Many peoples were represented there, and all joined the procession and entered the church. In the church I heard, Now here it is, the community of all nations, the world will receive its blessing from this place. Then everything faded out of sight. I had the sacred host still and consumed on my tongue. And I said, My Lord, who am I, that I am allowed to witness this? I thank you, 15th of August, 1973. At the elevation of the chalice, during the consecration, I saw the light, coming over the altar and the priests. It was a magnificent, radiant light. At saying the Lord's Prayer, I saw a heavenly vision. I heard, Follow me. And presently I entered the kingdom. This time it was overwhelmingly beautiful, surpassing all previous occasions. It is impossible to explain what I passed through and saw. There are no human words for these experiences. Nevertheless, I will try to give an idea of the glory and heavenly splendor. I saw a tremendous heavenly light, as if the Lord appeared there in all His glory. I also clearly saw the Lady, crowned in all her splendor. I heard the voice say, Continue along the road you have taken. I will assist you. Although, the voice stopped for a moment. Do not be afraid. Your enemy lies on the lookout. And you my priests, be again apostles. Preach what is in the books. I had already seen those four books lying in front of the throne, but now they were picked up and carried around. The voice spoke again. Continue with ecumenism, but... The voice stopped again for a moment. In the right spirit, in the good sense. This last sentence was stressed. Lead the nations of her, whom I have sent through the Holy Spirit. Then I saw from the kingdom, the earth lying beneath, as if I looked upon it from above, and I heard the voice say, Europe, be prepared, your enemy lies on the lookout. And you too other nations of the earth. And I felt a kind of threat hanging over our earth. Again I heard the voice say, Bishops and priests, my apostles, bring back my people and the Spirit will help you. But you yourselves, must adhere to the true Spirit. Go to the Roman Pontiff and implore him, to proclaim the Lady all over the world. Now there is still time. This is your commission for today. Then I heard again, Follow me. And I went back through a heavenly garden, where I heard heavenly music. Then, I saw the light withdrawing slowly from the altar and the priests, and I just heard the priests pronounce the last words of Holy Mass. I also noticed that the sacred host was still unconsumed on my tongue. I have thanked the Lord from the bottom of my heart, for having been allowed to experience this heavenly condition, 8th of September, 1973. During Holy Mass, immediately after Alfertory, I saw the light coming over the whole altar and priests. At the end of the Lord's Prayer, I saw a heavenly vision. I was placed in a valley on a sort of hill, so that I could survey the surroundings. In the center of that valley, I saw a plain. I heard the voice say, Watch well. And I saw a magnificent, vigorous tree coming up from the soil in that bare plain. At every extremity of the branches, I saw a name written in strange letters. The top of that tree was bare. I heard again the voice. Now, watch well what is going to happen. And I saw, a heavenly light, coming over the bare top of that tree, and in that light I saw a dove hovering. Then something charming happened. A magnificent golden rose bloomed slowly at the bare top of the tree and opened. Then I saw a very special light, coming forth as if leaping out of that rose. Meanwhile, I heard, She was overshadowed, and entirely pervaded by the light. She has been sent to save the world. It was a beautiful heavenly view. Then I heard the voice say from above that heavenly tree, Now watch, and pass it on accurately. Next to the heavenly tree, another tree came up from the soil. It was tall and stately with its branches raised aloft. But it was an earthly tree, compared to that other one. All at once, I saw the branches drooping. They all hung slack and many of them snapped off. I heard, 
Do you see the difference, and understand this rightly? And inwardly I heard. That represents the church. Then I saw, beside the second tree, a twig coming up from the soil. And watching it, I saw the beginning of the bloom, but it happened very slowly. Then an enormous light flood, lit the whole sight from above. The voice spoke again. Take her back into your church, Amsterdam. She will gather the nations into your city. Then, I saw a group of people standing there, and heard. And you, know your task. Do what you are asked to do. She has been sent by me. Take a good note of what has happened. And I saw the earth rotating in front of me, and noticed deep grooves and black spots on it. Then I heard. The prayer that she has taught you, has already yielded much fruit. Go on praying. Things might have got still worse. Watch carefully. Then I saw that the whole world was black, and on it, walked death, scythe in hand. And he mowed over the ground, and all at once, skulls were lying about everywhere, an awful sight. The voice sounded again. Keep praying. The process of purgation is in full swing and will still go on. I saw a large group of men standing there and heard. And you, my apostles, what have you done? Return to the daily sacrifice, to the daily miracle, and you will have peace and rest again, in your hearts. Then I saw the trees and the twigs standing in still fiercer light, and overhead, I saw the dove hovering to and fro, as if it was, busily engaged. I heard. The spirit is here again. I have given you the guidelines. Do follow them and the church will be great again. But first. And the voice paused for a moment. Various currents will clash with one another. But, do push on. Netherlands. You have shouldered an arduous task. So bring her back. That will also bring about the salvation of other nations. And you, tell your pontiff that the Holy Spirit is with him. Hold on and remain faithful. Bishops, do join forces again, the Spirit will assist you. Then I saw the valley, fading out of sight, and I heard that Holy Mass was at an end. I still had the sacred host unconsumed on my tongue. I thank the Lord, 29th of November, 1973. In the night of November 28th to the 29th, I awoke suddenly, and I heard a call. Babylon. It was exactly 3 o'clock in the morning, I went to sleep again, but after some time, I woke up once more and I heard calling louder, and more drawn out. Babylon. This time, it was called even much louder and more drawn out and at a higher pitch. From then, I did not go back to sleep, 8th of December, 1973. At the offertory during Mass, in the chapel on Diepenbrock Street, I saw the light coming over the altar and the priests. It radiated enormously. At the beginning of the consecration, I saw a heavenly vision. It was as if heaven opened. And out of there, from on high, I saw a heavenly procession coming downwards, left and right, and its center was a radiant figure, holding a chalice, surmounted by a sacred host which radiated on all sides. On high, from where the procession was coming, I saw a heavenly throne, and a majestic person sitting thereon. At his side, I saw the Lady, glorified and crowned. More and more heavenly beings came downwards. Next. I saw an altar, and the chalice and sacred host were placed on it. Meanwhile, I heard the following words. I have given the instructions. You, my priests, carry them out, and take care of this divine secret. Then everything faded away from my sight, and I saw that the consecration was over. At my Holy Communion, I heard the words. Do not be held back. Go to the Holy Father. The light stayed till the end of Holy Mass, 30th of December, 1973. During Holy Mass, at the priest's Holy Communion, I distinctly heard the word Ishmael, which was pronounced as Jishmael. I wondered what this meant, but I took no more notice of it. In the afternoon, when I was doing a crossword puzzle at home, I heard loudly, Ishmael, Jishmael. As we were chatting at night, 
I heard the same word again loudly. I did not understand the meaning of it, 2nd of February, 1974. During Holy Mass, in the chapel on Diepenbrock Street, I saw the light coming from the offertory. This time it was a peculiar, heavenly light, that not only shone over the altar and the priest, but radiated all over us. I heard, The light is radiating all over you. When receiving our Lord, I saw a heavenly vision and heard, Look at your world. Destruction, barren, and I saw darkness, destruct. Your earth is dark, torn and split up, parched and ruined. Over the earth, I now distinctly saw a star of David. Suddenly, it began rotating. At first the star was fronting me and then it was as if it made a half turn, rotating all the time. After that, the star came again in front of me, and stood still. And now on the left of that star, I saw a lunar crescent, and on the right, a hammer and sickle. Above this appeared a crescent embracing a star, and under all of this, came a huge bull with horns, he stood on the left, and on the right stood an eagle, and under this bird, a winged person, with on his right a lion and a lamb in their midst. All these images, star of David, moons, hammer and sickle, and beasts, began rotating at random, things swam before my eyes. Down there on the earth I saw stone tablets, inscribed with letters. They were thrown to pieces. I heard the heavy blows and became very sad in my heart. Then the whole image disappeared and I heard, Watch carefully. And I saw, the sky changing, from black into a magnificent deep blue firmament. The earth was lying pure and peaceful beneath. The light was shining splendidly, and I heard, Look up. And in the sky, I saw, a bright, large, heavenly star, radiating, like the most pure diamond. It sparkled in all directions, and beamed a glorious light all over the earth. I heard the voice again. Now I am speaking to you, my church, my community. Listen carefully. Bring back your young people to her, whom I have sent. Support your bishops and priests in the true spirit, in the right ecumenism, but mind you, in the good sense. These last words, resounded in the air as a call. And the voice continued. Only then, the earth will find calm and peace again. This was quite a relief to me, and I heaved a deep sigh. Now, first the vision, and then the light faded away. The priest gave us the blessing. Holy Mass was just about to end, 11th of February, 1974. During Holy Mass, in the chapel on Diepenbrock Street, the light came over the priest and the altar, at the offertory. I felt as if the light enclosed and captured me totally. Never before had I had such an experience. When receiving our Lord, I had a heavenly vision. I saw a large window, enclosed in frames with a shutter on either side. Suddenly the shutters were closed, but after a while, they opened again, and all at once many white pigeons flew out. They each carried a white letter in their beaks. They flew to the four quarters of heaven, and I heard the flapping of their wings. After a short time, they all came back and flew into the open window. The shutters were closed and the window disappeared slowly out of view. Thereafter, I saw two more scenes. Looking up, it was as if I were looking into heaven. Apparently a feast was going on there, for I heard heavenly music and singing. Below that scene, I saw a cathedral crowded with people. They started to sing the Te Dum. I understood only these words, as the music and the singing blended together. I was listening, while the light and the vision, slowly disappeared. 25th of March, 1974. At the offertory, during Holy Mass, in the chapel on Diepenbrock Street, the light came over the altar and the priest. Afterwards, the light grew stronger and brighter and spread over all who were present. After the Lord's Prayer, I had a heavenly vision. It was an oriental scene. A town full of domes and oriental people. Then I saw heaven opening above and I heard a voice speaking. Watch well what I will show you, 
The voice stopped for a moment, and then continued. And you, understand, all this well. It seemed to me that these words were directed to other people. The oriental scene vanished, and in front of me, appeared a large wall, something round shaped. It was built with huge rough stones. Suddenly, I heard a tremendous noise, and I saw the wall crumbling off. I heard the stones falling with thunderous violence. It seemed to be thrown down, but I saw no one. Then people who were not of our time, appeared. They carried the huge stones away, one by one, and started building. When they had finished, I saw it was an altar. And on the altar, a fire was burning. Inwardly, I heard the words. The altar of sacrifice. People were lying prostrated on the ground in front of the altar. On a closer look at that altar of huge stones, I saw that it was not stones, and that the altar was built of, very old books. I saw the backs of these old books. They looked like stones. Then, a haze came over all of this, and I heard call, three times. Nineveh, Nineveh, Nineveh. Heaven closed and the whole image disappeared from my view. Next a large, white, round disc appeared in front of me. It was divided by black lines and looked like a clock. A big hand pointed to the last part, as if it were 5 to 12. And I heard, Watch well, and, understand this right. The period, I let an answer, is approaching the end, but... And I heard the cracking of a whip, which sounded so terrible that I shrank together, as it were. Then I saw three popes, standing in front of me. On the left, Bias, 10. On the right, Bias, 12. They both stood in a light. In their midst, stood Pope Paul, the sixth, alive, with his hands inviting. After that, I saw an altar as we have nowadays, and I heard, Watch well. Suddenly, I saw the altar built of many new books. I saw the backs of these new books. Then heaven opened and, an invisible hand, placed a chalice on the altar. Hovering over it, came a large, beautiful, bright sacred host. From heaven I heard the voice saying, the sacrifice of my son. I saw the chalice and the sacred host growing larger and brighter, and rising slowly, until they disappeared into heaven. Heaven closed for a moment and then opened again. The sacred host was now standing majestically in the center of heaven. It broke open and a tremendous light burst from it. Something told me, threefold, and yet one. Then a spiritualized, dove darted from that light, and floated towards the earth. I heard inwardly. And the earth, is as renewed and, reborn. I heard the flourish of trumpets, and I saw them being held by invisible hands. At the end, all things faded away, and our Lord was still unconsumed on my tongue. Now just the following words came across my lips, Greatest God. I thank you in the name of all mankind, for showing us all this. I do not know how these words came to me. Holy Mass was over and I heard the blessing of the priest. Second Experience 25th of March, 1974 on this day there was benediction, at half past two, and I was leading the rosary. After the first decade, I saw a light coming. I thought, that is not possible, and I looked around to make sure. Indeed, I saw the light, shining over all of us. However, I saw a real difference between the light of this afternoon, and the usual light. It was weaker, but still very beautiful and heavenly. I was deeply moved and I felt as if the lady was present. I did neither see or hear her, but I clearly felt her present. I heard the voice say, She, is with all of you. Because of this, I made a mistake in the prayer. Thanks be to God, no one noticed it. The light radiated until the end of benediction and then faded away, 31st of May, 1974. During Holy Mass, in the chapel on Deep in Brock Street, while we were reciting the creed, I heard a powerful sound. It came to me from four directions. 
I saw the light coming slowly over the altar and the priests and then spreading over all who were present. It was a beautiful, heavenly light, and it stayed until the end of Holy Mass. On receiving our Lord, I felt that the sacred host began moving on my tongue and I heard, Come, follow me. Do not fear. I am the Lord, your God. And I saw a radiant figure, going ahead of me. I had to follow and came to a valley. Over this valley I saw clouds and the radiant figure, rose upwards into the clouds. From there, his voice sounded. Among you, there are those who have betrayed me again. Watch well and understand. On the ground in that valley, I now saw, a monstrous head, looking around in all directions. It had long tentacles and I counted seven of them. On the head were horns, and I counted seven of them too. It also had hideous, protruding eyes. Horsemen were coming from four sides. They rushed into the valley. They had whips in their hands and cracked them so sharply in the air, that it hurt my ears. I had to count again and found there were seven. Then the valley filled with people. They came from four sides. The horsemen, whipped, the backs of these people, who winced in pain. Suddenly, these people turned into snakes and vipers. The horsemen beat and pushed them into large baskets, which shut themselves. Next, vultures came flying into the valley from four sides. They were searching on the ground, but were chased off, by the horsemen. This scene disappeared and there was silence around me. Then I again heard the voice, calling from the clouds. Only, after all this has happened. And then I heard a clock chiming, and I counted twelve strokes. The voice spoke. Watch well, and understand. In the center of that valley, I now saw a spring. A beautiful, impressive stag came walking along, and began to drink from the water. From heaven, a beautiful beam of light fell down upon the stag. This vision also disappeared, and the voice echoed all over the valley. Ye nations, watch what has happened. You had the lady, your mother, in your midst. She will not come again, so you will not see her anymore. But I will send you, the giver of life, the strong one, the Holy Spirit, whom your lady, your mother, was allowed to announce. Keep praying before her image, and I shall work miracles. From the clouds, I saw a pointing figure, which beckoned me, and I heard, Come, and follow me. Then the clouds burst open above the valley, and I saw that radiant figure, rising, and floating into heaven. As for me, I had to pass through a golden gate. On entering, I saw and heard, that a feast was going on, and I saw a magnificent vision. Heavenly music sounded, and all heavenly beings were lining up in tears, around a heavenly throne. Again, I had to look at the valley, and I saw all the nations of the earth gathered there. They, too, were celebrating a feast. I heard the prayer of the lady being said, both in heaven and in the valley, and the Lord spoke. Tell them, that it is all right. Apparently, the lady celebrated a feast. Then the Lord spoke again and said, I will send you the Holy Spirit. He will reign over the nations, but not, before, all that has happened, what, she, the lady, was allowed to announce, by my will. And now I saw a bishop, and priests, and heard. And you, perform your duty, and do what is wanted of you. Then I saw the Pope. He stood smiling at us with open arms. Once again I heard that heavenly music and heaven closed. I had our Lord, still unconsumed on my tongue, and I said inwardly, Lord, I am not worthy. Holy Mass was already over, 31st of May, 1974. During benediction, I was leading the rosary. In the midst of the first decade, an enormous light came over all of us, and I felt strongly, the lady is here. After benediction, a group of pilgrims arrived from Brussels. They had come by bus, and wanted to pray near the picture. They asked me to lead a decade in prayer. And again I saw the light, shining over all these people, 9th of June, 1974. On Trinity Sunday, at the consecration, 
I saw a beautiful light coming over the altar. The light was threefold, as I could clearly distinguish, and yet it was one light. It seemed to me that one light, overshadowed the other and they became one large, beautiful, heavenly light. 13th of June, 1974 When receiving our Lord, on Corpus Christi Day, the Sacred Host began to move on my tongue. It remained unconsumed. Meanwhile, up to three times, I tasted drinks of delicious water, and heard inwardly, Eat, and drink this, all of you, and you will enter the gate. I had to swallow down that sweet liquid three times, and only then, I could consume the sacred host. After that, the light, I had seen all the time, slowly disappeared, 15th of August, 1974. During Holy Mass, at the Creed, the light came over the altar and the priest, and then spread over all of us. It stayed till the end of Holy Mass. At the consecration, when the Holy Host was held up by the priest, I saw this radiating on all sides. It was like one large white fire. When the chalice was elevated, brilliant beams like scintillating diamonds came from it. On receiving our Lord, I saw a heavenly scene. I heard the voice speak. Greetings my faithful ones. And then the voice said to me. Again I ask you, human being, come, follow me, and enter in at the gate. I watched and saw, a beautiful golden gate, in front of me. On entering at the gate, I saw a powerful heavenly light. The voice spoke to me and said, The test has been withstood. Tell them that all things will come to a happy ending. I don't know why, but I answered inwardly, Dear Lord, I thank you. Still standing in that light, I saw lips crossed by a finger, and I heard, And you, my shepherd. I saw now, a pope. Before you will come to us. I wish to ask you to bring her, whom I have sent as the Lady of all nations, into the church, the community. This task belongs to your primacy. A cross came before me, which grew brighter and brighter. Then I saw a bishop and, in a flash, the image of another bishop. The voice said, And you, you shall help him. Do not fear, it is the Lord who asks this of you. After these words, I saw many people gathering round the Holy Father, and I heard, The world is in distress. Bring her who had to precede everything, into the world. Be faithful. Do not fear. Now, all things changed before my eyes, and I viewed into the distance. Again I heard the voice saying, Look, what has happened? And I saw, a completely renewed church. This is for the future, I heard and inwardly I was told. And yet essentially, nothing has been changed. The heavenly light disappeared out of sight. Holy Mass was over, and our Lord was still unconsumed on my tongue, 8th of September, 1974. During Holy Mass, at the words, Holy, 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 the light came over the altar and the priest. At the consecration, when the sacred host was held up for adoration, the light became threefold, and I heard the voice say, Once more I tell you, take care of the transubstantiation. The threefold light, constantly radiating at random, stayed till the end of Holy Mass. On receiving our Lord, I saw a heavenly vision and noticed a deep, heavenly silence. Then, after a while, I heard the voice saying, Follow me. And you, understand aright. The last words were directed to others. I saw two roads before me. One road turned to the left, and at its end, was a deep black chasm or cavern. The other road went straight on. The left road was overcrowded, with all kinds of people, and the road itself, seemed to be black and black clouds hung over it. The voice sounded strongly. You are going on the wrong road. Now there is still time to return. People turn their heads, as if they were listening to find out, from where that voice was speaking. But, many people walked stubbornly, straight on, heads uplifted. Many others, however, turned round and came back. The voice spoke again. Come, and follow me. Now I saw a radiant figure, going ahead of me on that straight road. He had a big key in his hand. 
the road filled up with people, clergymen, men and women, youngsters, and everyone followed us. At the end of the road, the radiant figure stopped. He has arrived at a large beautiful door and put the key in the lock. The door opened slowly. The voice spoke. Please, come in. All around me was light and, through that light I saw one community. There was joy inside and I heard. This is the church, the community opening. Suddenly the threefold light was shining over this church, this community, and I heard. The lady also is there, in all her splendor and glory. She who was born and bore me in her womb. The lady was inundated by the threefold light, so that I could not see her, but I could feel her presence. The radiant figure, then went outside and pointed to the left hand road, and said. Do you see what is lacking with you? She, the lady was not there. It has become an empty barren desert, bereft of its contents. Therefore, I ask you, retrace your steps. The lady belongs there. If you consider it in that spirit, your church will be reborn. While these words were said, I saw the Vatican and a Pope. Now I saw a church, a community inundated by light, and I had the impression, a reborn new church. It was a splendid heavenly vision, and I heard the prayer of the lady being said. Again the voice spoke. Do not fear, the light is shining all over you. And you. Suddenly. I saw a bishop and other men with him. Please, do what I wish you to do. The sacrifice has been accepted. Inwardly I said, Thank you, my Lord. And everything faded away, and Holy Mass was about to end. Our Lord was still unconsumed on my tongue, 24th of November, 1974. At the consecration suddenly, the light came over the priest, and then spread over all the people in the chapel. I heard the voice say, Greetings, my light is shining all over you. I felt myself enclosed in the light. When receiving our Lord, I heard the voice say, My kingdom, is your kingdom. And I saw, a heavenly vision of only light, in dazzling brightness. Meanwhile, the voice spoke again and said, Look, at this gate. In front of me, I saw a black gate and I had to enter it. Inside there was darkness. I thought that I saw people, but looking attentively, I saw innumerable folded hands. Suddenly, I too, was standing there with my hands folded. I had to do so. While looking at all those folding hands, I heard inwardly, Tied hands. And I felt that it was difficult to undo my hands. The voice said, Come, follow me. And, I went out of that darkness. The voice said, Now look. And I saw, a heavenly golden gate, whilst the voice said once more, My kingdom, is your kingdom. And continued, I shall bestow life to life. I shall give you the bread of life. There was, a moment of silence, after which the voice said slowly and clearly, My kingdom, will come. Then everything faded away. The light disappeared gradually. Our Lord was still unconsumed on my tongue. I thanked him for this vision, 8th of December, 1974. At the offertory, the light came over the altar and the priest. While the light was spreading over all people, I heard, I am the Lord, your God, the Creator. Then a second light came and blended with the first one, and I heard, I am the Lord Jesus Christ, who bestows life to life. After that, a third light appeared, and I heard, I am the Holy Spirit, who has to bring light into the disorder and darkness. Be comforted, all of you. While this was being said, I saw the three lights, shining all over us as one light. When receiving our Lord at Holy Communion, I heard, This, is a sacred place. The voice stopped for a moment and then said, Watch well. I had to look into the distance, and far away. I saw the church which the lady had shown me formerly. I heard, take me from here to the house of the Lord. And now I saw, that one community of all nations. Then everything faded away, and the light slowly disappeared. Holy Mass was about to end. During benediction on the same day, whilst I was leading the rosary, 
I saw the light coming down from the picture of the lady. The light, however, was quite different from the Eucharistic light in the morning. While praying, I felt the lady's presence, but I could not see her. The light stayed till the end of benediction, 7th of January, 1975. During Holy Mass, I heard calling twice, Lamech. In the afternoon, at work, I heard the same call again, Lamech. 8th of January, 1975. During Holy Mass, I heard again, two times, Lamech. Moreover, in the afternoon and at night, when viewing the television, I heard the call. So, I heard it seven times in all, on the 7th and 8th of January, 2nd of February, 1975. Already, at the very beginning of Holy Mass, I saw the light coming over the altar and the priests. It was radiating gloriously, and then it spread slowly all over those present. When receiving our Lord, I saw, a heavenly vision and heard. This is a blessed day. The voice stopped for a while and I heard again, but yet louder. Yes, truly, this is a blessed day. Then the voice said to me. Come, follow me. Now I arrived, in a plane and saw those tight hands, which I had already seen before. But this time, they were people with tight hands. The voice sounded again, as if it were echoed all over the world. Yes, indeed, this is a blessed day. And I saw, people falling on their knees in jubilation, whilst their hands got untied. They raised their arms and hands to heaven, and an indescribable joy could be felt and be seen on their faces. They all were looking up to heaven. Heaven opened before my eyes. Everything was only light, and there was a throne so glorious as I had never seen before. Great joy overwhelmed me. Then everything faded away, and I thank the Lord for this joy which was given to me. Our Lord was still unconsumed on my tongue and the light was still shining over all of us. It stayed till the end of Holy Mass, 11th of February, 1975. While confession of guilt was said, at the beginning of Holy Mass, I saw the light coming over the altar and the priest. It spread slowly over those present. During the consecration, at the elevation of the sacred host and the chalice, I saw these changing into the figure of the Lord, all light, dazzling glorious light. It is impossible to describe its magnificence and splendor. Then I hear the voice say, So, I come among you, again and again, you have little faith. On receiving our Lord, I had a heavenly vision and I heard, Be comforted, I will stay with you. And now I saw that brilliant, glorious figure again, and heard. Watch what has happened. An awful image came before my eyes. I saw a huge dragon lying at the feet of that heavenly figure. I saw its eyes being plucked out. Next, its nails were pulled off. Then its mouth opened, and I saw, its terrible teeth falling out. All this was lying on the ground in front of me. I saw the dragon, writhing, collapsing exhausted, and being dumped into the depth. And the voice said, Your power is broken and your strength is finished. Your pride and your boastfulness are trampled down. And you, mighty of the world, take warning by this. The voice paused for a moment, then continued, Be comforted, ye nations, the Lord is with you. Say the prayer, and she will be allowed to be your advocate. Be faithful. All this was very impressive to me. That greatness, majesty and power of the Lord, as contrasted with that worthless, monstrous appearance of the dragon. Then everything slowly disappeared from my sight, and I humbly thanked the Lord. Our Lord was still unconsumed on my tongue. Holy Mass was about to end, and the light faded away, 25th of March, 1975. When the creed was said, the light came over the altar and the priests and spread slowly over all present. It was again, a threefold light, turning into one great light. During the consecration, at the elevation of the sacred host and the chalice, I saw a heavenly vision of the Lord in all his beauty and glory. It was just majestic. 
It cannot possibly be described. In the meantime, I heard. Like this I come again and again, as the glorified Lord at this sacrifice. Communicate this, so that they may repent. When receiving our Lord, I had another heavenly vision. Light was all around me and I heard the voice speaking again. Follow me, once more through the gate. And again I passed through the golden gate, and I saw heavenly glory, as I had not seen it before. The voice spoke again. This is a glorious day. Look at her, the bride, the mother, your lady. Now you see her, as she has been taken up into heaven. And I saw the lady, glorified, supremely beautiful, not like she was in her apparitions, but this too, cannot be described. The voice resumed. Watch what has happened. I saw the Lord, all light, high above everything. In front of him were all sorts of hideous beasts. They looked up to that heavenly throne, and it was as if they were suddenly smitten with tremendous force. They all crawled away very slowly, and I heard their hissing, growling, and snarling. Then they vanished into nothingness. These beasts were snakes, vipers, scorpions, crocodiles, vultures, hyenas, and wolves. They were frightened and trembled with fear. I saw the crocodile with protruding eyes, and its mouth wide open with terror. The vultures recoiled step by step, frightened with outspread wings and an awful scream. The hyenas and the wolves, too, made terrified noises. The voice said, All this, will happen. Then, I heard heavenly music, and down from that throne, I saw heavenly beings, more beautiful than ever before. At the same time, the voice sounded very loudly through the air. I have given my sign. Do not hesitate any longer. Do what is wanted of you. Next I saw people on their knees, lifting their hands imploring. They called, Dear Lord, do not forsake us. And I called with them, my hands raised imploringly. The voice said, Be comforted. I leave you the Helper, the Comforter, the Holy Spirit, and, her, whom I have sent as the Lady of all nations. The light will stay with you. Then, I saw a veil covering this heavenly sight, and everything faded away. The light was still shining over all of us, and our Lord was still unconsumed on my tongue. I thanked our Lord, for this indescribable vision, and for these years, which taught me so much, 31st of May. 1975. During Holy Mass, at the Creed, I saw a splendid threefold light, coming, and changing into one light. It slowly shone over the priests and the altar, and spread slowly over all the people present. On receiving our Lord, I saw a profound, heavenly vision. I heard the voice say, Come, follow me, and look. It seemed to me that this was not said to me only. I came into a very large valley. In its center stood a big gray rock. All at once, a rain of dirty, dark dust came down from the sky. It darkened everything so that I could see nothing but dust. I saw that rock had turned into a huge mountain of dust. All around that mountain, the ground was covered with many dead bodies of people dressed in black, and around these were lying, corpses of people wearing colored clothes. At the foot of the rock, I saw the globe in pieces, and surrounded by ruins of churches and towers. A terrible storm with thunder and lightning burst over the whole valley. From the sky, the voice sounded a call. Look, what have they done with my flock? Death and destruction. This, is my last warning. Return to the true liturgy. Take my flocks, again to the sacraments. I saw the dome of St. Peter's towering above all this. Then without warning, a heavy storm came on, blowing away all the dust of that mountain. Everything was swept away by that storm, only the rock stayed. I felt the storm blowing over me. The valley now grew very beautiful. In its center was standing, a huge radiant rock, so pure and brilliant, as if made of crystal. From the heart of the rock, fine crystal clear water was flowing. Then, all at once, a rain of fire came down from the sky. The drops of fire penetrated deeply into the earth. Overhead, there was all light. 
from afar, came, an enormous flock of sheep with lambs, black ones as well as white ones, which suddenly turned into people of all kinds. At the same time, I heard heavenly music. All was jubilation. And now I saw the globe entire again. From heaven, a call sounded over the valley. Watch well. The Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth and Love, and, she, whom I have sent, the Lady, your mother, is here. And I felt deeply moved. Then the vision faded away. Holy Mass was over. I thank the Lord for so many wonderful things, which I was allowed to receive. After that, the light disappeared too, 15th of August, 1975. At the Creed during Holy Mass, the light came over the altar and the priests. It spread slowly over all those who were standing. On receiving our Lord, I saw a heavenly vision and heard the voice say, Come, follow me. Understand, and listen attentively. I entered an interminable, barren plain, extending beyond the reach of the eye. I heard the voice calling from heavy dark clouds, hanging over the plain. Ye peoples, look at your acres and fields. They are dead, and spoiled. The voice stopped for a moment, and continued. The seed died in the soil. The peoples are lamenting and wailing. Listen. And I heard appalling lamentations, whilst I saw nothing but one vast, barren, arid desert in front of me. Then a deep silence fell over it. I felt that silence. The voice spoke again. You should understand. That is why I have sent her, the Lady of all nations, your mother. Now, look. Beautiful heavenly beams of light came down from the sky on that barren plain, and at once I saw the most beautiful flowers and greenery coming up from the barren ground. In the center, a twig was sprouting, and while I was watching, it grew into a beautiful tall tree. Now all of it had become one heavenly garden. I heard the voice say, Jubilate ye peoples of the earth, the hour has come. And I heard loud cheers, rising from that plain. This vision remained a long time before my eyes. I could not get enough of watching it. Then everything faded away. Holy Mass was about to end. After the priest's blessing, the light also disappeared. I thanked the Lord and asked, Please, dear Lord, help us to get along, 8th of September, 1975. During Holy Mass, I saw the light coming at the offertory. It spread over all those present. Then my attention was strongly attracted by the painting of the Lady of All Nations. I saw a beautiful light radiating from the cross, through the Lady. It was as if the Lady were alive. It remained like this till the end of Holy Mass. Then the image regained its usual appearance. And, the light faded away, 7th of October. 1975. During Holy Mass, the light came over the priest and the altar. Then it spread slowly over all those present. I heard the voice say, I am with you. The light stayed till the end of Holy Mass. When I wanted to go to bed, on November 5th, I heard call, Ephraim. I soon fell asleep and I awoke suddenly at exactly a quarter to three. I heard the call again, but now, at a higher and drawn out pitch. Ephraim. After that, I could not get to sleep and I thought, what does this mean? I had never heard that word before. Next day, November 6th, when receiving Holy Communion, I heard again that call, but on an even stronger and more drawn out pitch. Ephraim, 8th of December, 1975. At the Offertory, during Holy Mass, the light came over the altar and the priest. Afterwards, it spread slowly over all those present and stayed there till the end of Holy Mass. When receiving our Lord, I had a heavenly vision. I saw an enormous light, from which a large, white spiritualized dove appeared. I heard, Follow me. The white dove flew ahead of me until we came to a plane. There the dove flew up and remained hovering in the sky. In the center of that plain, stood a church with a spire. From heaven I heard the voice calling, Watch, what is happening? 
my faithful ones. Then heaven opened and a big sword came down. The sword cut that charts vertically in just two halves. I saw these two halves widening from one another to become two open parts, so that I could look inside. I saw people both in the right and in the left part. Then, suddenly, letters of a peculiar shape appeared over the left part of the church. They formed the word, Ephraim, which I had to pronounce aloud. Over the right part, appeared the bust of a pope, holding two fingers high, and in the background, I saw St. Peter's. The voice spoke again, Watch. Now I found myself looking through a pane of glass to the left part of that church. Water was running along the pane as if it all turned to water. The voice said, Watch well, it will be watered down. Then I saw waves rushing down, and the left part of the church was washed away. The right part of the church was still standing in the plain and changed into a whole church before my eyes. From the sky, I saw coming down, the image of the lady holding a cross, and an orb, in her hands. I saw no sheep. This image was hovering around that church. Then, suddenly, the image stopped beside the church, and I saw the whole flock of sheep come trotting along. Something told me, they went astray and were dispersed. I heard the voice calling, Listen, it is she, who will have to save the world. That scene stayed a short time before my eyes and then faded away. The light in the chapel was still shining. After the priest's blessing, it also disappeared, 2nd of February, 1976. In the night of February 1st, to 2nd, I got wide awake round 3 o'clock, and I heard a voice calling, La came, La came. It sounded drawn out and cheerful. During Holy Mass, at the Creed, on February 2nd, the light came over the altar and the priest, and gradually spread over all the people present. On receiving our Lord, I saw a heavenly vision. I heard the voice say, You have fulfilled my wish. Watch well. Then another tremendous light came from outside. Now I saw the inside of a new chapel. It was a warm beautiful chapel. Again I heard the voice. Be comforted. The light will accompany you from here. The voice stopped for a moment and continued. My sign will bear its fruits. Again I heard the voice, calling twice. La came, la came. Thereupon, the light from outside faded away and everything disappeared out of sight. I thanked God, and a happy feeling came over me. Holy Mass was about to end and the first light too, faded away, 11th of February, 1976. During Holy Mass, exactly at noon, I had a heavenly vision. All of a sudden I saw a threefold light, coming over the painting of the Lady of All Nations, so that the image of the Lady disappeared completely. Then this light spread out widely, and instead of the painted image, I saw the glorified Lady of all nations emerging from that light. She was beautiful beyond all description. She wore a splendid crown on her head. I felt extremely moved and began to weep for joy and emotion. Then I heard the voice of the Lord say, Yes, verily, this is a blessed day. After that, everything disappeared and I thanked God for this magnificent vision. The light stayed till the end of Holy Mass. On this day, my Holy Communion, was a close union with the Lord. Exactly, 25 years ago this day, the Lady taught me the prayer for the first time, and that was also exactly at noon, 25th of March, 1976. During Holy Mass, at the Offertory, the threefold light came over the priest and the altar, and changed into one beautiful immense light, which spread slowly over all those present. At the consecration, the light parted to both sides, like a veil being lifted. In the midst I saw the priest holding the sacred host. During the elevation it grew larger and larger, and then suddenly, it was like a sun of white fire. Next, at the elevation of the chalice, this light scintillated as if it were a spouting fountain. Then the veil of light closed again over the priest and the altar. My Holy Communion was a close union with the Lord. At once I felt an urge to say, My Lord, 
I thank you for the sacrifice you have offered for us. After that, the light slowly disappeared. 8th of May, 1976. On receiving our Lord during Holy Mass, I saw the light and heard inwardly, what is going on? Whatever is going on? Whatever is going on, in the Vatican? 31st of May, 1976. At the offertory, during Holy Mass, the light came over the altar and the priests and slowly spread over all people present. When receiving our Lord, I saw a heavenly vision and heard, Come, follow me. I came into an endless large plain where people lay sleeping. The voice called from the clouds, Awake, rise and watch what has happened over your heads. People rose slowly and sluggishly. A big cross appeared in front of them. And the voice spoke again, Watch, and see, that, which they have made of it. Now the cross fell into pieces before their feet. These pieces were shaped into various figures before my eyes. It happened very quickly. The first figure I saw was a triangle. Then a kind of swastika, but somewhat different. Next a hook. I heard the timber of the cross being crushed, and I saw how it was bent to the shape of a sickle, in which to the left, something like a hammer was placed. After that came a sheaf of arrows. Then, two triangles, with their tops touching, they looked like a sort of diablo. Next two triangles partly covering each other. Then a sort of gallows, and some more figures, which I do not know. From on high the voice spoke. And that is what they have made of it. But, they have dug their own graves. And at once I saw people digging. It seemed to me they were digging large trenches. I had to look down into them, and saw a bottomless abyss. From, all sides, lumps, of stone were falling down into it, and I saw they were fragments of churches. People also fell into the abyss, and I even distinguished priests among them. It looked as if they were swept away into that depth. I felt very sad and dreary. From the sky the voice spoke again. And you? You, were asleep. The voice continued to me. Come, follow me. A light was leading me and I had to follow, I came into our new chapel, which was lovely and had a dignified atmosphere. From its four corners came a strong wind. I heard and felt the wind blowing around and over me. And from on high I heard, Blessed be this residence, which you have prepared for your Lord, and for her, the Lady of all nations, whom I have sent. Kneeling down I suddenly saw the glorified lady with twelve stars around her head and wearing a crown. It was magnificent and impressive. From on high came a hand inviting the people in the plain to enter. And the voice said to them, Come along, and the Spirit will give you rest and peace forever and ever. And again the wind blew all over us from the four corners of the chapel. Deeply impressed I said, My Lord, I thank you in all humility. The Lord answered, Blessed be you all. I said, Amen. Then everything faded away, in the night of May 31st, to June 1st, 1976. That night in a dream I saw what follows. I was standing in the center of the large square of St. Peter in Rome and I was observing the Basilica. All of a sudden, I saw the walls of St. Peter's begin crumbling. Huge lumps of stone fell heavily down on the square. The peculiar thing was, that these lumps collected themselves, into small heaps, and were lying, in a circle, all over the square. They looked to me like groups of people, something told me so. The heaps of stone moved slowly towards the center of the square and all together, formed a huge rock. While I stood watching, this rock changed into a large church, and I shouted, Oh! Now it has become a brand new church. What a remarkable thing to have a dream like this in the night of May 31st to June 1st, I thought. And suddenly I awoke. It was 6 in the morning. 15th of August, 1976. During Holy Mass, in the chapel on Diepenbrook Street, at the Creed, the light came from the four corners of the chapel over all those present. When receiving our Lord, I saw a heavenly vision, 
And I thought, why do not other people see that light? And the voice said to me, Because I open your eyes and I make your ears hear. Yes truly, this is a blessed residence. Rejoice, ye nations and be thankful. A new era, is dawning. But, watch what is happening. They have chosen a false spirit. Watch well and understand. Now I saw, many stone statues on pedestals, passing before my eyes. First, a wolf, next a calf, then a hawk, a vulture, a crocodile, a scorpion, a hyena, vipers and snakes, all intermingling, and lastly, endless rows, of tombstones. All these were images of stone. And the call sounded from the sky. It is life they wanted to kill. I am life, and I want you to taste of it every day. Come along, ye nations, only then, you will receive rest and peace again, and the true spirit will lead you. This being said, I saw a brilliant, radiating sacred host above the altar. Then I saw the Vatican. Its walls were crumbled and damaged. I heard, Take care ye nations. And I saw a red tidal wave rolling over the world. I heard, See this. And I saw the lady, altogether glorified, while I heard, She will be victorious if you do the will of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Proclaim her, the Lady of all nations. And then, Now, I saw the Vatican again. Its walls were being plastered and repaired by putting in new large blocks of stone, and I heard, This, is the new heir to come. And I saw the Vatican all renewed, as if reborn. After that, everything disappeared. The light kept shining over all of us till the end of Holy Mass. I thanked the Lord in the name of all people, and heard, The light will accompany you. 8th of September, 1976. During Holy Mass at the Creed, the light came from the four corners of the chapel and became one great beautiful light above the altar, and over all those present. On receiving our Lord, I saw a heavenly vision. I heard the voice saying, Watch well, and understand. And, all at once I was standing in a desert where, in its center, I saw a group of people blindfolded with black bandages. From the clouds the voice sounded, Ye nations, watch well, I shall unveil your eyes. All blindfolds dropped immediately. Next, I saw, a huge cross upright in the center of that desert, and in front of it an altar, they were both made of dark brown timber. People gathered around it. Then, I heard the voice call, in a lamenting tone. Ye nations, it will have to be again, the altar of sacrifice. Beside that altar rose a beautiful cream-colored tower, it was completely sculptured, and seemed to be ivory. It rose very high above everything. Around its top, scintillating stars appeared in a vertical circle. I counted twelve of them. And again the voice sounded. Listen, ye nations. She is standing beside the altar of sacrifice by the will of the Father. Then everything faded away from my sight. But the light kept shining over all of us till the end of Holy Mass. I thanked the Lord and asked, Dear Lord, please help us along, 7th of October, 1976. At the Creed, during Holy Mass, I saw the light coming from the four corners of the chapel, and grow into one most beautiful light above the altar. Then it spread over all present. The light stayed until the end of Holy Mass. In the night of October 29th to 30, 1976. This night I dreamt as follows. I was standing in the center of St. Peter's Square in Rome, and I saw fishing nets hanging all around. They hung on stakes, in order to dry, and were full of holes and gaps. Here and there in a hole, a fish was still hanging, trying to get out. Where I was standing, there was a rock and big dark clouds were hanging over it. From there I heard the voice complaining, Cephas, my Cephas, look at what has happened. I had to look at these nets and over each fishing net, I saw a mitre hovering, some bigger, some smaller. And I felt myself caught within all those nets. Again I heard the voice complaining, Cephas, my Cephas, look at these holes and gaps. That is how it happened. 
that so many fishes got lost. Then a thread came down from the clouds. It looked like golden thread. Meanwhile, a totally different large fishing net was spread out before that rock. It had been completely repaired by the thread, and I saw no more holes and gaps in it. It filled up with wriggling fish and was firmly tied up by that golden thread. Now, a staff came down from the clouds and struck three times against that rock. It sounded hard as steel. While all this was happening, I saw that rock growing larger and higher, until it was a gigantic pillar. The net with fish was hanging from its top. All this seemed very real to me. I awoke, and it was 3 o'clock at night, 8th of December, 1976. During Holy Mass, at the Creed, while we were reciting, the Word was made flesh, the light came from the four corners of the chapel and spread over the altar, the priest, and all those present. At the consecration, the light shone over the altar, and the priest only, and it was as if, the people present were in the shade. On receiving our Lord, I had a heavenly vision. I was again standing in St. Peter's Square, and I saw quite the same spectacle as in the dream I had in the night of October 29th to the 30th, in 1976. This time. However, there were no dark clouds above the square, but a blue clear sky. The voice called. You are standing now in the same square, but watch what will happen. All the torn nets disappeared and in their place came new undamaged ones. Again, I stood near the high pillar, and at its top I saw the fishing net hanging full of living fish. The voice spoke. Watch. Suddenly, the net fell down near the foot of the rock. I had to look at it and thought inwardly, these fishes are dead, they have lost life now. From the sky I heard the voice calling, Cephas, my Cephas, you have been granted the power to make them alive again. Then the net opened and instead of fish, people of different races and tribes came stepping out. They gathered around the rock and all looked up. The voice continued, Give these people my bread. Then I saw, on high, beams of light radiating on both sides of the rock, and from them I saw baskets coming down at one side, and bowls full of grapes at the other side. They were placed around these people. Cephas, I have given you the power. Thereafter, a magnificent, glorious light began spreading over the rock and the whole square. And I heard, My spirit will support you. Watch well. Now a beautiful, high ivory tower rose beside that rock. It was more beautiful than the one I had seen before. Round about it twelve stars appeared, one by one. But high in the midst, I saw the most beautiful star, which changed alternately from a star into a golden rose. Meanwhile, I heard the voice say, She was exalted above all tribes. She is, the lady of all nations. She will help you. The heavenly vision stayed a long time before my eyes and then slowly faded away. 9th of December, 1976. During Holy Mass, when receiving our Lord, I heard a lamenting voice calling, Ahab, Ahab. This name I had never heard before, and I don't know the meaning of it. On December the 12th, 1976 at Holy Communion, I heard the same lamenting voice again but this time calling much louder, Ahab, Ahab. 1st of January, 1977. During Holy Mass, at the Creed, while we were reciting, the Word was made flesh, the light came from the painting of the Lady over the altar and the priest and spread over all those present. It stayed till the end of Holy Mass. 2nd of January, 1977. During Holy Mass, at the offertory, the light came from the four corners of the chapel and spread over that altar, the priest and all those present. But at the consecration, it looked as if light concentrated itself on the altar and the priest, and we were in the shade.